Um, hey y'all. Wow, okay. I'm like a thousand subscribers away from 200k. Like, I don't know what to say. I, I, like, I'm in disbelief. Honestly, and I'm only gonna talk about this for a little bit because this video is not going to be about me hitting 200k Like I have a reason for this video. It's gonna be a scary video and even though I haven't hit 200k yet uh, I just feel obligated to say thank you in this video because I think by the time that I film another video I'll be past it and I just like it's just like so Like, like I just like I'm in that moment right now of like hitting it even though I haven't necessarily hit it yet But I just like I wanted to say thank you and like what is going on? I never in a million years uh, Thought that I would get here and I feel like everyone says that I feel like it's very I look like a mom right now I look like a 40 year old mom, but you know what? I'm into it. I feel like everyone says that they never expected to get to the point that they're at But like I don't know when I hit 100k it was a long time ago, I feel like at this point, and I just, I, I was kind of stuck in this place for a while. I had like 130, 140,000. I wasn't moving from that, and I was okay not moving from that. This was never something that I saw being like a long-term career for me. I started YouTube for fun, which I feel like most people do, and I just can't believe the amount of support I've gotten recently. It's nuts. Like, it's, <laughs> it's something I never expected to happen, and I'm still in disbelief. Like, every time I check my phone, or like every time I check YouTube, it's just like, uh, I don't know, like it's, it's amazing. It's like, it's so weird to see everything like happening right now. And so I want to say thank you. I just like, there's been so much going on on my channel the last couple of weeks and I've tweeted and like thanked you guys and I feel like I've thanked you in small ways, but I haven't like actually sat down and like said anything and I'm just like, I'm so grateful. I, I really am. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel recently from my videos and you're continuing to watch my videos and support me and then shout out to all my people who have been here for so long and have just put up with all my bullshit because I love you and I appreciate you and I just I don't know thank you I just I'm gonna say thank you a million times but thank you so much for 200k even though I haven't hit it yet but I'm about to I'm at like 199.5 I think something crazy like that let me look I'm at 199,640 when I'm filming this and this video is going up on Friday so I I think I'll hit it around then and if I don't then whatever. I still, I'm still grateful for 199,000 subscribers. So woohoo! 199,000 subscriber special. Okay. But I'm back and I have more scary videos that I'm excited to watch with you guys. This is gonna be different because I've never done this before. I don't think I've ever sat here and watched like scary clips with you or scary videos with you other than like my own clips from Twitch or like random things like that. But I was thinking about this the other day because I made my video talking about Home Alone stories. And when I was looking for pictures to put in my thumbnail, I was looking at like all these like break-in pictures and a lot of them were pictures from like a security camera and so I was thinking I should do like those fucking doorbell videos like I should look up scary doorbell videos I've seen a bunch of them on Twitter and they freak me the fuck out every time there was one that went viral I think kind of recently and it's one of the videos in here so we'll watch it together but it's like you can hear this girl screaming and I, it freaks me out so we're gonna watch them together. I found a website with just like a fuck ton of scary doorbell videos and I thought this would be interesting. So I guess we'll see. If you guys like this, we can do more of them. I feel like there's a huge difference between me reading stories and like visualizing them myself and then actually watching all of this shit happen or hearing the voices. I don't know. So I think this will be scary. Very scary. So, you know, just go from me being grateful for all of you to shitting my pants on camera. That's pretty much what this is. I'll have the website linked down below. And if I forget, just remind me because I always forget to link things when I say that I'm gonna link things. So if I forget, just please remind me and I will link this website down below. I promise. I'm always like, yeah, I'll do this, 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 and I'd never do it, ever. But this says the creepiest videos caught by Ring doorbells. And fun fact, my sister actually worked for Ring for like, <laughs> probably like a month or two. And I don't think she ever like installed them, but her boyfriend did. And I think her boyfriend installed my parents. And so I've just like seen the footage before because my parents have security cameras and I've seen it and it's very creepy looking. And so I can't imagine actually seeing something creepy on the video itself because even when there's nothing there it's scary because it's just creepy to like see your home 
you know, okay, we're gonna watch these. There are stories that go along with them, so I'll read the story first and then we'll watch the video together. So this one says, a woman is heard screaming for her life in a possible kidnapping. And this is the one that I was talking about that went viral on Twitter recently. And this like, ah, the voice in this just freaks me out. And I just like, I can hear it in my head already. It says, on November 12th, 2019, I didn't even realize how recent this was. Disturbing footage of a woman screaming for help was captured from a ring doorbell camera on the 3800 block of 3rd Avenue in the Lyman Park neighborhood of Los Angeles around 11 p.m. Sorry if I said any of that wrong. The police were not aware of the doorbell footage until the following morning, but responded to a report of a possible kidnapping. LAPD officer Mike Lopez said responding authorities could not find evidence of a crime. After the footage came to light, the LAPD reopened the investigation. The screams were thought to be coming from a white vehicle that drives down the street. A woman is heard yelling, somebody help me. A witness claims she also heard a man say, I'm sorry. Detectives continue to search the area. Okay, this makes me even more... Oh my god, wait, this makes me even more uncomfortable that this happened so fucking recently and they don't know what happened. Like, there's no outcome to this. <gasps> Blood-curdling screams ring out. A concerned resident goes outside to investigate. Captured on her doorbell camera are the sounds of a woman crying out for help. You can also hear a man's voice. It appears the cries are coming from this white car zooming down the street. Oh my f ah fuck dude, this is a stupid idea. Okay, like I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say, that is so terrifying. And this next one says, a man licked a doorbell for three hours straight. I think we started off on a really bad one. On January 8th, 2019, police started searching for a man in Salinas, California, who spent three hours licking a doorbell in the middle of the night. The individual in question was easy to track down thanks to a newly installed surveillance system at the home. The parents weren't home, but the children were. The man had also moved an extension cord in the front yard and relieved himself on camera. They said, you kind of laugh about it afterwards because technically he didn't harm anybody. He didn't break anything, but he might be faced with charges of prowling and petty theft. So let's watch a man look at a doorbell, I guess. What is my channel? A California family noticed something very, very, very strange on their security camera. They say a man spent three hours, oh. yes, three hours licking their doorbell. Oh, God. They had no idea what was happening outside, but the parents got an alert. Can you imagine, like, watching your security cameras and there's just a man licking your doorbell? Uh, what, what was the point? What was the point? What was the point? What was he getting at? What was he trying to do? Oh god, this one says, a man with an assault rifle rang his neighbor's doorbell at 4 a.m. On September 10th, 2018, a Florida man, of course it's Florida, sporting a bulletproof vest and carrying an assault rifle, rang his neighbor's doorbell at 4 in the morning. The homeowner grabbed her two children and holed up in the bathroom after spotting the man on her security footage. She immediately called the police and her husband, who was out of town for work. Roughly 25 minutes later, the police arrived. The man, whose identity has not been released, faced aggravated assault charges. The homeowner said the daughter of the unnamed man had stayed at their home recently, claiming she was afraid of her own father. Oh, God. The man staggering around at the front door is armed with a semi-automatic rifle. He has a ballistic vest on. It's nearly 11 p.m. Tom's loved ones hid and dialed 911. Yep, I wonder why he decided to come to their house. Like, what was the fucking point? Like, what had they done? I would love to have security. I live in an apartment. But, like, when I move into a house, I, like, want security cameras so that I feel comfortable. But at the same time, I feel like I would just watch them 24-7 and be scared of, like, everything that moved. I was laying in my parents' bed one time when I was watching their house, and I rolled over onto the remote, and, like, all of these, like, screens came on, and it was so creepy because I didn't even realize that they had, like, all these security cameras. And so I could just see, like, every inch of the house, and I'm like... If I saw something, like, I just don't even know what I would do. I don't think I would be able to, like, function properly. I'd just be like, I, there's a the man and I am scared. I don't know if I would just rather it, like, be a thing that is happening that I don't know about or me watching it happen. I can't tell which one is worse. This one says, a mysterious woman rang this house's doorbell at 3.30 a.m. And I think that I've heard or seen this one before. It says, on August 24th, 2018, a resident from the Sunrise Ranch neighborhood in Montgomery, Texas, contacted local authorities after a strange woman rang her doorbell in the middle of the night. A partially undressed woman, who appeared to be wearing some sort of hand restraint, rang the bell and left. Some people believe she was related to local missing persons, but law enforcement do not believe she matches the missing person files sent in. Deputies canvassed the area with descriptions of the mysterious woman and asked neighbors if they had heard anything. On August 29th, authorities identified the 32-year-old woman as Lauren. Police 
Police confirmed she was alive after a house call to a home in Sunrise Pines around 11 a.m. local time. A man in the home threatened suicide, and when the authorities arrived, they discovered the 48-year-old man, later identified as Dennis Collins, died from a self-inflicted gunshot. Collins' girlfriend was the mysterious woman. Authorities say she's the victim of domestic violence. On September 18th, Lauren opened up on Inside Edition, detailing how she ended up at the doorbell. She fell asleep next to her boyfriend of four months and woke up to what seemed like a nightmare. I woke up and he was kneeling on my chest, stuffing some sort of cloth in my mouth. She said I felt like I was going to die that night. Holy Jesus Christ. I have seen this video before, but I never knew the story behind it. It was one of those things, kind of like the first one that we watched, where it was just like, a thing that happened and nobody knew what was going on. Here she comes from this direction right there, so watch. I know it's like literally two seconds and nothing happens in it, but it's terrifying them. Like the fact, I don't know, the fact that you can like see that she was tied up. She's just like wandering the streets, like going up to, I don't know. I just like the thought of it is so fucking scary to me. This one, when I was scrolling through the list, um, is probably one of the ones that will freak me out the most. This one says, attempted door kick-in. According to the video's description on YouTube, the man in the dark hoodie rang the doorbell around 2 p.m., but the home's occupant couldn't hear it because he was wearing headphones. The man left, but returned with his friend in the white hoodie about 15 minutes later. Presumably, the men believed nobody was home. As such, the man in the dark hoodie attempted to kick in the door. The homeowner heard the loud bang and yelled out, scaring the men off his porch. The sound of the attempted burglar's foot hitting the door is especially jarring, and I'm not mentally prepared for this one. This is like the shit that I'd be scared to see. It's like someone just trying to break into my fucking house. Okay, I have a story. I have a story for you guys. I have a story now. This just, just reminded me. One of my best friends, Izzy, we work together, and whenever we work the same shift, I'll usually pick her up. And so we worked at like 5 a.m. one morning, and so I went and I picked her up at around 4.30, and when she got in my car, she was like, do you want to hear something scary? And so I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Because I wasn't expecting what she was about to tell me. And so she goes on to tell me that there's been a man who has been trying to like open her front door every few nights or so. I don't know how long this is going on for. I don't remember the whole story, so I'm gonna try to retell it to the best of my ability. But she said that that morning when I picked her up, she could hear somebody like jiggling her door handle. Like somebody was trying to get into her front door, but they were trying to be quiet about it. But you can hear when someone's trying to get in. And she said that she had been hearing that for like the last few nights or whatever, but she didn't think anything of it because her brother works weird hours. So she thought it was maybe him coming home from work. And then it turns out that one morning when her brother was coming home or some Something along those lines he saw a man like approaching their front door approaching their house like an old man she said he looked like Santa Claus going up to their house he looked like a tweaker and so he started rubbing his engine at the guy and so he ran away and there was a car parked like down the street and he got into the car with another man who was driving it and they drove off and so she thinks that this man has been just like coming to her house to see if like they ever leave it unlocked. And she was freaking out because she was like, I'm home alone a lot of the time. Or like if her parents are out of town and her brother's working at night, she was like, I wanna be alone. And I'm like, that's the kind of shit that I can't handle. I can't handle that, the idea of like, just knowing that somebody's trying to get into your home. A man kicking your front door in, trying to kick in your front door. Shut the fuck up. This one says, a strange man with strange claims. In this video, a strange person rings a doorbell and engages in an equally odd conversation with the house's owner, who isn't home and talks to the visitor via a remote speaker system. The man claims he worked for the homeowner's family at one point, possibly cleaning the tiles on the front porch. When asked what he wants, he never answers fully, but seems eager to get inside the house, only wandering away when he realizes nobody's home. Hello? Hello? Uh, we work around here. Study what? Can I work around here? Oh, okay. I am yeah. on the top before. The tile in the front of your house before a long time. And your daddy? That one's not as creepy. It's weird if, like, he really doesn't know who it is and the guy was, like, there for malicious reasons or he was trying to break in but like it's not creepy if you think that like he really is just there like 
because you've worked there before. I don't know. Do you guys want to hear a creepy story though that's not actually creepy in the end? Because I have one of those. I was at work the other day and it was just me and one other girl and we're both just like equally as paranoid. I don't think I've told this on my channel. If I've told this, I'm so fucking sorry. I don't think I, I think I told my boyfriend about this, but I don't think I ever talked about it in a video. I have a really bad memory though, so if I did, I'm so sorry. I'll try to speed up the process of me telling the story. But we were working and we heard somebody buzz our back door. You can only get into the front, like associates and everybody can only get in the front. The back door is only used if we're getting like shipment dropped off or if we have like a FedEx delivery. And so our back door buzzed and we were both like, what the fuck? Because nobody should have been there. Like the only time we even get shipment delivered is at like noon and we have like a window where we can get it delivered. And so if they come before or after that, we can't even accept it. And so the back door buzzed and we both looked at each other like, do we just hear that right? Like is somebody at our back door? And so I went over to the back door and she came with me. So we like walk off the floor and we like walk through the back room and I look through a peephole because we have little peepholes in the doors. And I look through and I was like, there's just a man standing outside. And it was really dark. It was like 5 a.m. And so it's pitch black outside. There's just like a man standing there. And so she looks through the other peephole because there's two doors. And she was like, there's another man who's like kind of standing off like to the side a little bit, but you could hear them kind of talking to each other, but we could only see one man through the peephole. And so we were already kind of weirded out because there wasn't any sort of vehicle outside. It's not like it was like a delivery truck. And so we didn't know who these men were because nobody told us that anything was going on this morning. Like nobody told us anybody was supposed to be there working on anything. And so I was like, well, I'm not opening the door because I don't know who this is. And if it's like two men, they could easily overpower us. And I'm like, I'm not, no, I'm not doing this. And so we walked back out to the floor, which is like equally as creepy because our store, it's like just windows. And so if these men even like came out front, they'd be able to see that we were there. And so we go back out to the floor and we just keep working, but we're just trying to stand like, I guess kind of behind a table so that if they did come up there, they wouldn't see us. But we're just like freaking out at this point because we don't know who they are. And so they continue to ring our back door for like two hours. And it wasn't consistently, it was like every like, like at first it was like maybe like they rang it, then 15 minutes, and they rang it again, then maybe like 30 minutes, they rang it again. And then they waited like an hour or something, and they rang it again. And so I was like, oh my god, like are these, is it the same fucking people? They just been literally standing there, like waiting for us to just open the door. And so I go back there again, I look through the people, and I was like, it's the same men, but like, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't, I can't open the door for them. I don't know who they are. And so eventually they come up to the front door, which I don't know why they didn't do that in the first place, because like clearly they knew that we were there if we were like, if they were waiting outside. So they come up to the front door and I asked them through the door like what they were there for and they were there to clean the floors. So we were basically just like shitting our pants and terrified for no reason, but we couldn't have our floors cleaned that day because we didn't have enough time because we didn't answer the door at 5 a.m. Back to the videos, this one says a terrifying invisible visitor and I think I might've seen this one as well. There was something I saw about like a ghost runner on Twitter, this might, I don't know if this is it. It says, in this clip, it isn't what you see, but what you hear. Either a prankster possesses a spine tingling sense of humor or this house needs an exorcist pronto. Okay, I don't think I've seen this one and I'm actually, this is, I don't know, not right. It. I can't even I can't even finish it. I can't even finish it. I can't even finish watching it. Oh shut the fuck up. Oh my god, dude. There's no way that fucking shit is. There's no there's no way. There's no way that's real. The music at the beginning too. I can't even watch the rest of that. I watched 10 seconds. I can't watch the rest of it. There's like another like 20 seconds left. That one got me. My heart is literally pounding. This one says Matt doesn't live here anymore. So we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going after that. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. In this video, a man approaches the door then does something odd. He pretends to knock on the door. We then see him talking to somebody waiting in a car off camera. It quickly becomes obvious he's been put up to do something by this unseen individual, something that he doesn't wanna do. After a while, he even fakes a conversation with the homeowner asking if somebody named Matt lives there. He then apologizes and walks away. Who knows what sort of nefarious needs might have gone down if the stranger didn't possess a conscience or an intense fear of getting caught. I don't know if I said nefarious right, but we're gonna watch Matt doesn't live here anymore. Why does he have to be shirtless? Why?
like, I just, I wonder what they were up to. Like, I wonder what they were doing. Maybe it was, like, the same as the guy who, like, was kicking in the door. They were just trying to see if somebody was home, and if they weren't, they were gonna try to break in. I don't know. And this one says, whatever it is, it's freaky. <laughs> I'm going insane. I'm going insane. This man, who may be intoxicated, shambles onto the porch, then appears to manhandle the ring camera for a minute before seeming to jump over a fence. It isn't clear what's happening here, but it's still scary to watch. I think these are worse, when you just, like, don't know what the fuck is happening. I hate the way he ran up to the door. That's just my first comment on this video. Is he trying to get it off? Like, is he trying to take the doorbell? Did he just jump the fence into their backyard? Is that what he just... <sighs> a peculiar bike dealer. If you were super desperate for a bicycle and needed it immediately, this random guy showing up on your porch would be a godsend. For everyone else, however, the man's strange hand gestures and sound effects would raise enough red flags to keep the door shut and locked. I have to burp. Sound effects. I'm not big on these sound effects. The <laughs> sound, yeah, I'm not, I don't, I had to stop after this. I'm freaking myself out, as always. Yes, can I help you? Hey, dude. Uh, I'm gonna be real. Dude, I'm just, I'm trying to sell a bike for some cash so I can buy some money. Why? What the fuck? Okay, like, there's so many more on here. This one says, Mystery Phantom Leaves a Nightmare on the Porch. <laughs> Many of the clips on this list feature sketchy people actively attempting to break into homes or creepy crawly visitors setting off the ring camera's motion sensors. Eerie yet explainable. But this video plays out something from a David Lynch movie. Watch as a strange figure walks out of frame, leaving something on the porch. Then watch the something seem to grow and inflate as a dog barks and a car speeds away in the background. Okay, cool! <laughs> What just- I was scared that there was gonna be like a jump scare because of the car in the background. It sounded like really intense music building up. So I threw my phone. That's so weird. It looked like a little ball with a little package and then it was like- Nope. See ya, bitch. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, this is another like paranormal, supposedly paranormal one. It says, what exactly is that thing? Watch the top center of the screen. Is it merely a distortion or light apparition? Or is it something supernatural, possibly even extraterrestrial? We may never know. You caught an alien. Congratulations, you have real footage of an alien. Okay, let's watch one more, because I skipped a couple of them, because I didn't want to watch them. This one says, a strange light streak. In the left corner of the screen, a long and fast streak of light whips around the camera's lens. Maybe it's a bug, or perhaps it's something paranormal. Hopefully this one's just like stupid, and we can end on like a decent note, because right now I'm kind of shitting myself. Just the whole setup of like ring doorbells and the black and white, just everything about it is so creepy. So it automatically leads me to believe that it's something scary, even if it, it maybe isn't. You can make a whole movie in black and white from like the view of a security camera and I'd be scared even if nothing happened because it just looks creepy. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't know if you like the whole video thing versus me just telling the stories. I don't know, I can't really tell. These like, I, I don't like seeing the things. I think it scares me more. And now I have like visuals in my brain. 
you know, freak me out. But I also feel like when I read stories, I envision it, and I probably envision it to be like 10 times worse than it actually was. So I don't know. I don't know which one's worse. The paranormal one, the ghost, the man gurgling, the, 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 the thing that played the music and then started talking, that was the worst one. That one genuine, and the phantom package thing. <laughs> That just freaked me the fuck out. I, I want to keep watching them, but like I know that I'm just gonna scare myself. Like I just I'm gonna go on a binge of like ring doorbell videos when I'm done filming this. If you guys want more of these, let me know. I need to make a paranormal video soon. I feel like I haven't done one of those in a really long time. So maybe that'll be like my next video for next week. I already have my video for Sunday filmed. So we'll see what that's gonna be. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's getting dark now, so this was a horrible time for me to watch these videos, and I'm gonna go sit in my office scared that a man is going to kick in my door, and I can't wait. But I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Also, if you guys watched my hair dyeing video, and you're wondering why my hair looks red, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's like so weird, because when I'm in my bathroom or like in any other lighting, it looks so like normal like it just looks brown but then when I'm out here and I'm filming my hair just looks red I don't know but I'm over it I don't know why my hair always looks red no matter what I do but you know what it's fine I kind of like it so we're just gonna leave it alone still we're going to continue to leave my hair alone and if you didn't watch my hair dyeing video then you are just like your hair was already red and yes, it was. But now it's like orange. It kind of looks like coppery. But it doesn't. It, it's not. It's not. I promise. It's not. It's just my stupid fucking camera. Okay, see ya.